everybody. Today, we have some stuff to talk about. You can see we got the GT trailer, which is like, honestly, the most shocking and expected trailer that we've been waiting for. There's been a lot of hate. There's been a lot of suffering that the GT fan base has been going through. But hey, thank you guys for standing by. Thank you guys for holding your, your point of views down. So people finally see um, this GT trailer has been something that we've been stating is a staple for Tenkaichi in order for it to be a sequel. And we finally got it. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how this trailer shows more than what we thought. Before I wanted to start the video though, I wanted to go over why I think Super 17 wasn't shown in this trailer. They know he's a popular character because the way they treated him uh, treated him in Legends, they're, they, they're not playing around. So either A, he is within, you know, the, the, ba the base roster, but we actually don't know yet. So maybe they are lying about the hidden characters. When they say like, you'll know all playable characters before launch. What if that's like all playable characters that we can play with without doing any store? I don't know. Maybe I'm, yeah, I'm just trolling. I personally think that roster panel is not a roster panel. I think it's just like a trailer, like a character trailer uh, debut panel. Baby Vegeta made the spotlight or the cut because that was when Goku first went Super Saiyan 4. And then shinron made the cut because that's when they first did the fusion into gogeta super saiyan 4. now the reason why i think super 17 got cut is either a they didn't want to confuse new players in the game about android 17 z android 17 super and then super 17 they'll probably be like what what's going on and then there wasn't no like like impactful transformations or yeah like he it was just him it was just super 17 by himself so i'm okay with him being the one like i was surprised oob and fucking pan made it in and i know you guys are mad that pan is in and not super 17 so maybe there is like maybe they're they're hiding people you know but i'm gonna bring it back to why i think the roster isn't 164 not only were people confused on Super 17, but uh, there's 10 character slots left. Out of these 10 slots, if we want to believe that the roster is 164, I'm gonna, I'm gonna state who I believe the last 10 characters are. And just from me stating them, you're going to turn out, you're going to find out that is actually, so I'm zooming in, let me switch back to the hands. I believe Kaba base, is going to make it for sure because I have this pulled up. If you guys see, they, they tease the uh, tournament mode for one of the trailers, right? You can see the world stages, right? Other world tournament was in this and it was in the previous installment. So it's like, are they confirming? I I'll come back to, I'll come back to this, but just pay attention. We have other world tournament and we have tournament of destroyers. If you watch the show, you know which two arcs these cover but we go back to the picture so you already see in the background the tournament of power or the tournament of destroyers i feel like we're going to get the um then we're going to get his super saiyan one form for sure for sure because i i want to argue that his super saiyan two form will make it but his super saiyan one form would definitely make it because of how impactful it was when he was fighting with vegeta uh then we have Frost, final form. Remember, there's 10 slots left, so I gotta go at this with the mindset of only 164 characters. So yeah, Frost, final form, skips the other forms he has. This was the more important one with the poison. Gotta Destruction Topo. We need this motherfucker ASAP. I wanna see what he looks like. If they don't have him in, that's, they need him in. They need this dude in. He's legit like the Vegeta, and then Jiren is like the Ultra Instinct Goku, you know? So it, it would be like a cool pair, but they need him in. Um, General Tao, now we're dipping back into the OG Dragon Ball. I don't think they're gonna fully just forget about OG. So I feel like for sure we got these two, these are, I'm tripping. We have these two villains, two main villains. I'm kind of skeptical because it's like with the love they're showing 
the characters i don't know if they're going to fully drop cyborg towel if he's in here so we will for sure have towel king piccolo and og goku and then over here barda or broly these are my last 10 roster predictions because honestly i don't see how they can have this game not have these characters you have the super being satisfied you have the og being satisfied and you have the final movie you know craving being satisfied now i have og and super in here i personally believe the next trailer could be super orientated for sure because it's like they gave us the gt the only arcs they haven't covered was super and i feel like they want to do like a, a like a, a a paradox like uh like how goku started in the og dragon ball going all the way to super i feel like that might be the theme you know goku's goku's journey from og dragon ball to where he's at now and the power level he gained i feel like that might be the focus of the next trailer which would help cover all of these characters you know i don't know how brawly's going to be in there he might be a surprise but to be honest um yeah i don't see the rest of the characters being like strictly tournament of power because then that would that would mean brawly's not going to make it which is insane i'll explain why brawly is going to make it then you have um three so it would be like the other namekian from uh, a universe to replace demon king piccolo and then i don't know like koichi i like they don't have magetta in here they don't have batamo like it's it's though those could be the next two slots but then it's like you know i'm, I'm gonna come back to it but if there was any cuts out of my prediction, I would say that they would have to get rid of Brawly. But because I feel like they would use Brawly to sell the movie DLC. Brawly would be like the highlight of the movie DLC. I don't see it happening, but if it happens, if it happens, I feel like, forget Gogeta's here. They're going to give us PyCon, Janimba, and Janimba Super, or Super Janimba. We already have a Gogeta, so you can kind of like simulate that battle still with with the Gogeta Super. But the fact that we have Gogeta Super and Brawly Super is what's tweaking with me. Because it's like they have to have the Z variants already in the base game as well. This is what's going to bring it back to why I don't think 164 is the limit. I don't think these arrows are just for show. And then on top of that... You know how we have the tournament of destroyers we have the other world tournament that's why i feel like pycon should make it janimba's might make it because pycon was kind of in that they can still just have pycon only and not add the janimba's but it's like will they take out who they're going to take out him and put in pycon like it's 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 going to be weird because we only have 10 slots supposedly 10 slots left I, let me know what you guys think. I personally don't believe this is it. Uh, my first reason is because we have night mode. We have night stages, right? We've seen in the Boo Saga trailer. We've seen in um, the Gogeta clip on the Sparking Zero's Twitter. There's night stages. And it's like, it'll be weird to play with characters like um, Nappa, Raditz. Characters that have the actual tear, uh, tail on their waist. And they can't transform. Like, I, I feel like if you look at Kid Gohan, he specifically doesn't have a tail. But I don't know. It's like they had him in the demo. So is that why they didn't have him with the tail? But yeah, I feel like they have Bardock in this game. They have Raditz. Like, they cannot miss the one other iconic moment of a tenkaichi game and that's the ability to turn into your great apes when you're um when you have the moon out now if kid goku is in here right he should also be able to go great ape i feel like kid gohan's great ape would also would be like the exact same thing so it was kind of cool to make sure you had kid gohan but nah if it shows the story kid gohan has his tail when he fights raditz so he had this Super Saiyan 2 transformation during the tournament power. It's so weird to not have him, you know, 
with it being a Tenkaichi game, you want to include all the forms, or at least most of them. To Blue Ball, Kaba, if they if they give them one, they should at least give them two, right? Super Saiyan 2. But with uh, Khalifa, she fought Goku in the Tournament of Power, and he was just like how Vegeta did with Kaba. He was training them on how to transform. So I understand Kel because her two Super Saiyan forms are kind of unique. But then, like, we don't, we didn't really see her use Super Saiyan as often as the other two people use Super Saiyan, right? So it's like, why would they give her love and not these people? On top of that, we have a lot of the tournament of power fighters, bro. We had, like, uh, we have, uh, they're, they're right here. These top three people. Why do we have Rebrian, uh, Rosie, and Kakuza, or Kazuya, whatever her name is, from all of these other hard ass people, bro. I mean, look, we got the three. Hey, we got the three. We got the one for some reason, right? The one. We should get almost everyone. We should get almost everyone from this row. Not this guy, but for sure, one of these Namekians, Megeta and Botamo. And look, Frost first form. Maybe some diversity choices between them. This is the Koi Chitern and Dr. Paparoni to turn them into Anilaza. You know, like they, they have such a wide variety to throw into this mix. And they all look unique with certain gimmicks, you know. Bardock is in the game. And he's wearing this drip. So this has to reference like... I have him on the CD. So he's a movie character to me. But... This at like every time you have a Bardock in a game, who's the buddy? It's Brawly. Bardock and Brawly has always made it. You know, they would even get love. Like Bardock has a Super Saiyan form. Brawly has a Super Saiyan 3 form in some of the uh, previous Dragon Ball games. Bardock is messing me up because it's like if Bardock, if Bardock is in, Brawly has to be in. Which is like taking up my, you know, 10 slots for me. So it's... You can see how the last 10 slots are being shaky. But yeah, that's like why I personally believe 164 can't be it. There's too many characters left for them. Like, it'll be a weird cutoff. Because I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to have enough characters to explain, like, the quick version of these stories, of these arcs. But for the Tournament of Power, you kind of, like, will be skipping a lot if you only had... Well, no. You can still use, like... But there's, like... It's like, look, there's 10, there's 10 characters regardless that we're getting. If we're getting Kaba, we're getting his Super Saiyan form. People are going to wonder about his Super Saiyan 2 form. We're getting Frost. People are going to wonder about his other forms. Like, every time you have a character, they're connected with more characters. So it makes, like, the 10 unbalanced. You want to have Tao? What about Cyborg Tao? You want to have Kid Goku? What about his Grade 8 form, you know? So it, it's very like Gogeta Z and Broly Z is very and even for Broly we have one of the soundtracks called I am a devil I'm not a they're referencing if they went as as far back to make sure GT was in the game they're not forgetting Broly no yeah just like how GT was in the Tinkaichi series that's how Broly was so I I don't let me know if it's like, if you guys don't have um, the same roster predictions as me. I want to know. I'm curious. But that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about in this video. I told you guys once they drop this trailer, we're going to learn more information from like the, spot, the, the spots that we have left. It's not looking like there's enough and it's going to be weird. So I'm curious. Um, I personally believe the next trailer could be something like uh, OG Dragon Ball to Super. So some sort of like tribute to Goku's journey. Um, I, I also believe that they're going to release the uh, the bonus character. So we're finally going to see who that is. I think the candidates, since it's one character, I feel like it has to be a person that can't transform. And my candidates are Fu. Because Fu, you know, Daima's all about the, the demon king being killed and they need a new one. That was what Fu's background story was in Xenoverse. I don't know if they're going to have like a Xenoverse crossover. But, you know, as a bonus character, that would make sense. Even Supreme Kai of Time, she would make sense. Um, Spopovich, or Hatchiak, my bad. I added Hatchiak just specifically because they had 
the way that you can transform in um, in Sparking Zero kind of is reminiscent of how you transform in Raging Blast. So I know if they are doing a tribute to that game, they should give us like the, the Raging Blast boss as well. And then Moro, I feel like um, since we got the continuation of Super, we already know these arcs are officially going to get animated one day. But when they are animated, I know that there's there's game adaptations already being built for these characters like Black Frieza, Granola, and whatnot. But the only thing that's making me weird about this prediction is that he has other forms. And like I told you, it's only one bonus character. So I don't know if they're just going to cap him for right now or... Yeah, and my final one is Miris. You know, if we do get some sort of super love uh, beyond... Um, the Brawly movie and you know uh, the superheroes and Daima I feel like Miris which is like the Jocko of super would be the perfect candidate this dude is in a he is a candidate for becoming another angel like we in them so he has to make sure his point of view is always not uh, biased and that was his whole focus during this he was very good and skilled but he would be a cool character that I would see as like the bridge between teasing us that, oh, Black Freeze is coming, Ultra Ego, Vegeta is coming, you know? So that would be a good um, choice. If you guys are new, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of it. That's all I had today. The roster is giving us more information than what they are probably trying not to tell. But hey, we, we are doing the process of elimination. We're finding out what could make sense versus what doesn't make sense versus the nostalgia being respected but it's, it's a fun it's a fun journey um but like always thank you guys for tuning in you guys be safe keep up the grind and i'll see you guys next time peace